my faith TV Network Why not the devil like it all oh, yeah, You are coming out of with that oh, Hello everyone, you are welcome to the moment of what God is saying. I want you to know that God talks every time and God speaks every time. My name is Archbishop Dr. Bayo Adejola, the presiding bishop of the Lord's Triumphant Ministry and Towa, Blessed Chapel, Shangote Do, Aja, Lagos. I want somebody to call somebody, tell your friend, tell everyone to gather together and hear what God is saying. I will be back in a moment. I know the message is going to bless you and it's going to bless your entire household. God bless you. Happy view. My friend, TV Network. Hallelujah. Wow. You are welcome to what God is saying. Amen. Daniel chapter 10, verse 12 to 13. The Bible says, Then said unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thy heart to understand and to chastise thyself before the God, thy word were heard and have come for thy word. But the prince of kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty-one days. Lo, Michael, one of the chief prince, came to help me, and I remain dear with the king of Persia. Amen. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. Today, I will be speaking to you on the topic destroying the yoke of delay destroying the yoke of delay now ladies and gentlemen before you understand this message i like to let you know what is delay and what is yoke yoke is anything that barricades you yoke is anything that stops you from from moving yoke is anything that put a full stop on your way. Yoke is anything that attacks your destiny. And when we are talking about delay, delay is when something is slow or when someone is late. When something is late or when something is slow. Hallelujah. Now, putting it together right now, we're talking about the yoke of delay. The yoke of delay is any burden or any barricade any limitation that slow down your life, that slow down your destiny, or that make something that's supposed to have happened to be late. Now listen to me. I want you to listen very well. This is a story of Daniel. Daniel proposed to pray before the Lord. And the scripture said the very day that Daniel started this prayer, God has heard him. And God has sent Angel Gabriel to go and give him the result of his prayer. But the scripture told us that the king of Persia, we stood him on the way and he kept him there for 21 days and Daniel thought the prayer was not answered. Listen to me, there are barricades, there are things that are stopping your answer to prayer. There are things that are frustrating your answer to prayer. There are things that are saying no to what you are praying for. And that is the reason why I'm here today. Whatever power that is standing on your way, whatever thing that is putting a limitation, whatever thing that make your neighbor, that make your equal, that make your contemporary to pity you today, God will remove it on your way. In the mighty name of Jesus, Satan is the author of delay. Satan is the author of barricade. He's 
is the author of limitation. And I come today in the name that is above every name, that every yoke of the devil in your life shall be broken in Jesus' name. Heaven is going to visit you as he visited Daniel in the name of Jesus. The scripture said, and God sent an intervention. God sent an intervention to Gabriel as he was coming to give the result of the prayer to Daniel, the scripture said where he was headed by the king of Persia for 21 days, the scripture said the angel Michael came and delivered him. Listen to me, I pray for you today in the name that is above every name. Wherever your helpers has been held hitherto, God is going to send his angel to lose him so that he can come and help you. In the mighty name of Jesus, every satanic delay in your life, I decree by the authority of the word of God, they are broken in Jesus' name. That man, that woman hearing me, whatever power that is stopping you, that is stopping the grace of God in your life from not fulfilling that which God wants you to fulfill, today is broken by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. I see you moving forward. I see barricade being removed. I see frustration being removed. I see powers of hell being scattered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want you to listen to me today by the authority of the word of God. I don't know what you have been praying for. I don't know what you are expecting. Are you expecting to be married by now and you felt you are delayed by the powers of hell? Are you are you expecting a contract and it seems as if it's not forthcoming? Are you you praying for one thing or the other, but it seems as if it's not coming. Daniel prayed, and at the end of 21 days, Gabriel was released so that the miracle can come. I decree today by the authority of the word of God, in the name that is above every name, let that delay be scattered. Let the arrows of delay be removed in the mighty name of Jesus. Daniel receive answer to his prayer. You are going to receive answer to your prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus. The power of God is going to invade your privacy. And the hand of the Lord is going to touch you where you are. In the name of Jesus. I see that miracle coming into your house. I see that blessing coming into your home. I see you getting married. In the name of Jesus. The son of the living God. Now hear me and hear me clearly. Our God is a good God. He's not an evil God. He's a good God and he has sent me on your way today to let you know that what you are asking for is already at your door in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Daniel celebrated the answer to his prayer. You are going to celebrate answer to your prayer in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. I'd like you to pray this prayer with me. The first prayer I want you to pray right now. Say it after me. Say every agent of shame and delay walking against my life is scattered in the name of Jesus. Every agent of shame and delay that is walking against me and my family be paralyzed in the name of Jesus. I command it to be paralyzed by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Say Holy Ghost fire. Say Holy Ghost fire. Accelerate my prophecy to fulfillment in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Ghost fire. Accelerate my prophecy to fulfillment in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. My friend, TV Network. Whether the devil like it or not, you are coming out of with that. Of Jesus, upon I prophesy to you in the name that is above everything. Your witness is over. an exciting time in the presence of 
God. I believe you are blessed with that message. If you have just given your life to Christ, I want to pray for you. I want your life to completely change and be blessed. I want to continue talking with you. I want to continue blessing you. Please give me a call. Also, I want everyone to know that staying on the air is intensive and I know you will want to be hearing me time to time I would like you to support us be a partner in what God is doing so that both of us can bless together our accounts are on the screen scroll on the screen you can just pick it and be a partner with us I will see it and I'm going to pray for you remember what the scripture says he said seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness every other thing shall be added unto you i know you can't be a kingdom minded and heaven will not bless you it's going to really bless you amen join me this same station every day i will love to host you every time to tell you what god is saying at all time god bless you see you tomorrow hallelujah my friend tv network Like it or not, you are coming out of with that. I speak as a prophet by the authority of Jesus. I prophesy to you in the name that is above everything. Your witness is over. Yeah. Yeah.